The fatal shooting of three-year-old Mackenzie Elliott in August of 2014 went without a charged suspect for two and a half years. Terrell Plummer was named that defendant in April when, as one of his final acts as Maryland's U.S. attorney, Rod Rosenstein announced the federal indictment of Plummer. Uh, and we may well see accountability for that tragic murder of Mackenzie Elliott. Now, Plummer's lawyer argues the case is plagued by delay and sketchy evidence. Lawyer says a key witness heard on jail calls with Plummer has died. City Watch camera footage in the area of the shooting is no longer available. And an informant, Plummer's lawyer argues, identified a different suspect. Defense lawyers are pushing to learn the identity of the informant. Federal prosecutors today argued that informant actually implicates Plummer. No physical evidence ties Plummer to the shooting. No gun has been found. But prosecutors said today every witness who saw the shooting of Mackenzie Elliott can put Plummer at the scene. Defense lawyers today accused a homicide detective in this case of trying to mislead a judge to get a search warrant early on in the investigation by using the plural term informants instead of a single term informant when there is only one informant in the case. The judge ruled it was just a mistake. No trial date in this case has yet been set. Reporting live tonight from the federal courthouse, I'm Jane Miller, WBAL TV 11 News.